doing well The cuts we left each other Well, some wounds they never heal But I shed my skin for a new shell Should be live. Uh, I don't see me talking though. That's weird. Why is my character not talking in the corner? Oh, Dodon. Dodon, start speaking. Am I sp am I moving now? No, it doesn't look like my my character's moving yet. Why is that? Hmm. Why why am I not speaking on the screen? I mean, according to Twitch, ads are about to start in like 60 seconds, but I'd, I would like to figure this out before actually starting the game proper. Why am I not speaking? Let's, let's figure this out. Um, <laughs> I should be speaking. It may lag a little bit while I try and uh, log into Reactive to see why it's not moving my, moving my fucking mouth. Because I definitely should be speaking right now. Like, I'm, I'm on the screen. You can see me wiggling around. Mouth's not moving. Don't know why. Can't say. Let me... Let me try this first. There, I popped back in. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. It did not take that long, actually. Okay, I'm playing Paradise Killer tonight. I actually, in full full clarity, let me actually pop it in so you can have the background music here, which, in hindsight, is fairly loud, even at 30%. Wow. But, uh, this game, I have finished it. I actually binged it over the weekend, and so you may be like, well, Dodon, if you've done finish the game, how come you're playing it again already and on stream and everything? And uh, the answer to that is, we as humans uh, indulge and enjoy art in such a fashion that we like to share it with other people, especially if we believe that other people haven't enjoyed that art yet. So the short of the answer is, I just want to share the game. I just want to show off the game. It's real nice. It's unique, and I, I think that it should get a little more spotlight, so Paradise Killer it is. So that means we'll be starting a, an entirely new investigation here. Paradise, Paradise Killer. Killer. Welcome, Investigator. You will soon enter a paradise where fact and truth are not the same. Explore Paradise in your own way and find your own truth. Paradise Killer has a wealth of accessibility options. Please tailor the experience to best suit your needs. And uh, that is true. It has a lot of accessibility options, so you can play it even if you're prone to getting sick or, you know, seizures and stuff. Paradise Killer does not autosave, and that is important. You must use the save points on the island. Saving a record of your existence is free and easy and leads to a happier paradise. 
The Syndicate created the first Paradise Island to worship their dead alien gods. Guided by leader Montserrat, the Syndicate attempt to resurrect the gods by forcing citizens into psychic worship rituals. However, the worship invites demonic corruption from beyond the stars. The islands always fail, the islands die, and a new Paradise Island is born. The cycle repeats. Island Sequence 13 Lady Love dies. The Syndicate's lead investigator is deceived by the god, Damned Harmony. She endangered Paradise. Her sentence is eternal exile. The island could not be saved. Demonic corruption began to infect the fabric of Paradise. The island died. The citizen slaughter ritual took place. Another Paradise Island failed. The cycle always repeats. Lady Love Dies watched from exile in the idle lands as each island flourished and died. Each iteration got closer to perfection. Demonic corruption events decreased. Island 24 was almost perfect, until Henry Division, a lowly citizen, got too close to the gods. He allowed demons to flood the island. The citizens were once again slaughtered. The council began their meditation to end 24 and birth perfect 25. But before they could complete it, Paradise was killed. And that's all the backstory you really need. If you're confused, that's okay. I feel like everybody who starts this game is immediately confused upon that introduction. It explains very little. Anyway, here's the Way of Blood Bar, 25th Island sequence. Question mark says, Ha ha ha. He he he. The crime to end all crimes. This blend tastes different. The islands define the whiskey. This one definitely tastes of embers. She put the fire out. Was it a cosmic dream? No. They called on her, the exile. They needed to. Just two shadowy figures speaking in the background. Lady Love Dies on the 24th Island sequence. Born at the Longest Tower, Britain, in AD 1000 under the sign of Kiss Me to the Moon. The Syndicate's lead investigator. After the damned Harmony incident on Island 13, the Paradise Psycho unit was shut down, and Love Dies was exiled to the Idle Lands as punishment. And this is our main character, Lady Love Dies. That is her full title, her full name. Uh, she has been here for 11 island sequences. So... I think three, roughly three million days is the is the timeline they give us. Another day in exile. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Island 24 is supposed to be ending. Why am I still here? I have a bad feeling about this. All right. Well, now that I'm out of the menu, it seems like the music's a bit quieter. So let's try and turn this up a bit. Ain't that just the way of things? Let's turn it up to 35 again. There we go. Alright, that seems more reasonable. Grab this. It's a relic. It's just little collectibles that are found around the game. It's a wistful photo. The outside of the Paradise Psycho unit before it was disbanded. The last photo that was taken of me back on Island 13. And that's her. You can see her in the photo. She's got a very nice bedroom. I like the, the leopard print style with just like red pillows. So this is this is how the game is. Not like super impressive graphically, but like very aesthetic. And uh, they use that to its fullest. Yeah, days since you were exiled. 3,004,769. So she's been up here by herself that long. portrait of me painted by Lydia before I was exiled. And then we get our first look at this vulgar little dude. Lady Love Dies! Who are you? The first person you've spoken to in three million days. Can you taste it in the air? Something's wrong. 
The island was supposed to end. Something's wrong. You're damn right it is. While you've been exiled up here, all kinds of shit has happened down on the island. What kind of shit? The messed up kind. Real messed up. All kinds of messed up. You used to be the Syndicate's investigator, right? They're talking about you down there. They need the investigation, freak. Time to get back in the saddle. Get out of the idle lands and get back to work. Exile is over. Why is a demon in the idle lands? The name's Shinuthk Jigach. You can call me Shinji. I'm just here to hang. I got no horse in this race. What race? Someone's made a move against the Syndicate. People are betting on the wrong horses. What do you want, Shinji? I like a good bit of murder. It's a good time. The best time. I'm just here to watch the results play out. You got some solving to do. Some investigating. Some looking real hard. Some good thinking. Time to weave some truth, love dies. Anyway, I gotta bounce. Go get your laptop. You're gonna need it. See you on the island. <laughs> Whoop, and he pops. I have no idea what's going on. That little runt said I need to find my laptop. He must mean Starlight. Every investigator needs an assistant. Starlight is up by the barrier that overlooks the island. So, immediately, yeah, she's got a pretty nice uh, setup here in the Idle Lands. Granted, it is a really small area to be, like, confined to for three million days. So, you know, take it all in, bask in it. It's pretty nice. I like these crystal skulls that she has. The gold trim, like the, the little water. It's not very deep. I guess you could sit in it, but it's just very aesthetic. You got your sprint button. Run up to this. Here's another relic. The dulled percolator. Coffee doesn't taste the same if you're not working. Laptop's over there, but I'm gonna grab this other relic before we hop down, because as far as I can tell, you cannot come back here once you're gone. A well-read book about an ex-gangster that decided to become a master of grilled chicken skewers. It sounds more like a manga, honestly, than a than a normal book, but fascinating. <laughs> That's strange. That's strange. Why is Starlight unlocked? We have obtained Starlight. Three million days up here, and now she's calling out to me. Key item obtained. An investigator's best friend, Starlight. It's been a while since me and the girl did the dance of investigation. And of course, it's got to boot up. Even though it was ringing just a second ago, I guess the OS wasn't on. I like Ancient Nightmare Technology Emulator Initialized. That's a that's a good uh, OS. Welcome to Starlight. May the silent goat walk with you. A phone call from Judge is unexpected. Lady Love dies. Madness has overtaken the island. That happened a long time ago. The council were murdered as the new island was born. Is this a prank? Leader Montserrat is dead. The council are dead. This is no joke. A killer tried to take everything from us. The syndicate is about to collapse. You need an investigator and you're in luck. My diary's pretty empty today. Lady Love dies. I have authorized the use of Starlight. Take her and come to the island. I like how she immediately cracks a joke the moment she gets somebody to talk to, even though there's obviously been like a pretty hefty murder uh, island side. Your exile is over. The prison doors are open. Judge, the barrier's still up. The door to truth will open. Starlight can dance her way through it. Fall down to us and breathe life back into paradise. And you want me to just fall to the island? The islands haven't changed. 
the fall won't hurt you. Step off into the abyss and drop to the island. Lydia will be waiting for you. Time to breathe life back into paradise. And real quick, before I crack the nightmare computer, I just want to take a quick peek into the, the stream to make sure that I'm not dropping frames or anything. Everything looks fine. Yeah, okay, everything looks fine. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to, to mention this while, uh, while opening up. I usually do this at the start of every stream, but uh, thank you, Muy Caliente, for following. I know that this was... The follow came last night, not during one of my streams, while I was uh, streaming with Martin. They were playing Fields of Mystria, so... I'll just go ahead and announce that now, since I, I did see that it was confirmed when I popped him into the OBS this morning. <clears throat> So we've got to initialize our nightmare interface. A nightmare computer from the depths of space that uses a language born on a long dead world. The syndicate never upgrades. Starlight can emulate the OS and break down the components used in the symbols, but I need to work out how they are used. I haven't seen these symbols before. It looks like a hieroglyphic based on language. I need to find a clue to know which symbols release the lock. I can brute force it with trial and error, but I'm a busy woman now. Starlight can see the answer. I need to work out how to make it. Some of these parts should make the symbol I need. I need to select components from the ones available and match them to the top image, completing the puzzle. Alright, so basically, top image, I've just got to make it with the pieces from down here. That's, that's all it is. So this and this makes that. And just like that, the computer's cracked. Hieroglyphics takes me back to university. I was the only one in that arcane text class. Looks like the language is divided into different groupings of symbols for different types of objects the civilization found important. The rest of the syndicate can't decode these. They have keys coded to the specific machines they're allowed to access. The data on the nightmare computers is tamper-proof, sealed machines that hook into the fabric of the island. There will be more on the island that I can unlock. Judge said they need me down on the island. The people that exiled me are dead, and I need to find out the who, how, and why. Time to fall into a pit of crime. A leap of faith into the sun-drenched abyss of memories, secrets, and crime. I don't like how, like, both of those sentences just end in the word crime. It's something, it's just like a little writing, like, nag of mine. I don't like when a person ends a sentence with the same word two times. It's just weird to me. All right, so the bars are open, and from here, we can immediately see our, our island paradise down there. Get a full view of it, and like the, the ocean around it with the pyramids. It's very weird. And here's the opening. I love this soundtrack. I don't know if you can tell. Paradise, Paradise Killer. Killer. It's so good. All right, so immediately after landing, you can see there's another nightmare computer here. We can't unlock it. We need software. We need specifically the Cosmos software. So this is a comeback to this computer. And then there's a set of doors here, very strange looking doors. It's the Paradise Gates. The passage to the next island sequence. The gates are in lockdown until I solve this case. And obviously in the top right you can see I've got zero blood crystals. And that's so sad, we have no blood crystals. And now we have one. Blood crystals are a prized unit of currency used by the Syndicate. This is our money. We need blood crystals for pretty much everything. Here too, here's like a, a little electronic door. Can't open it. It's electronically locked. So I need to find the power switch, which obviously is not here. It's way over there. And here's how the, the characters are represented in the game. Flat incredibly flat, like, 2D images, which, you know, 
It's an aesthetic choice. I get it. Lydia, it's been too long. I'm glad you're back, LD. I'm just gonna, yeah, she said that. Lydia Daybreak, your oldest friend. Born in Wanak Falls, Kenya in AD 1001 under the sign of Beautiful Spectre. The Syndicate's fairy woman, responsible for transporting the Syndicate to new island sequences. After an uninteresting childhood spent in worship of Beautiful Spectre, she enlisted in the army during her teens. Lydia became known as a Titan Killer after she successfully defended a temple complex from three monstrosities born from beyond the stars. She retired from the world of assassination when she met Sam Daybreak, fleeing to join the Syndicate together. Sure. Thanks, Starlight. Starlight's giving you the full 101, huh? I've been in exile for three million days. She obviously thinks I need a refresher. What did I miss? Evil stuff, LD. Last night was a killer. The council were killed just as the new island was born. Word is a killer got into the building and took a knife to them. How are you feeling? Messed up, LD. This is the worst. The island needs an investigator. You shouldn't have been exiled, LD. We need you down here. Judge told me to bring you to them. Well, let, let's fucking go then. Let's go see them. One thing before we go, LD. I can ferry you around the island if you need me to. Save your feet from a hike. If you need a pickup, call me on one of the phones. The phones are deactivated since it's the end of the island, so you'll need to fire them up again. I already activated this phone for you, in case you need to come back here. All right. Fairy woman reporting for duty. Time to ride, LD. <laughs> Jump into her very 80 synthwave uh, aesthetic here. Seatbelts on, LD. How was exile? Three million days just flies past. Cheer up, Buttercup. You're back on the island now. Back in the game. Up to me to find out the truth. Criminal to catch a criminal. An investigator to catch a criminal. I'm messing with you. I don't think you're all bad. You got deceived by a god and let him conspire to kill the entire syndicate. No biggie. We don't... Oh. No, yeah, this is her. We don't have any investigators except you. No offense. None taken. I like your perfume, by the way. Oh, thanks, LD. Pretty one, isn't it? It's a unique blend that I got made especially. It's nice. I'll have to get some on the next island. Sorry, LD. The blend is my own secret recipe. We're almost there. Yeah, bit fruity, nerdy. By the way, good evening. Welcome in. Go to speak to Judge. If you want to hang, I'll be on the pier. It's been so long since I performed an investigation. You getting the fire back? You never left. I was born to investigate. Go get him, LD. Just a bit fruity. All right, here we are at the courthouse. And this, oh, I guess it's raining. And this is the uh, the judge in, in this thing right here. I can't jump on this, I guess. Oh, yes I can. I just needed a bit more. Okay, so the jump in this game is weird. I'll let you know this right now so there's no confusion. You carry the momentum that you had the moment you pressed the space jump, the space button. Oh yeah? What What do you mean? What do you mean, what the fuck? Are you confused in any way, nerdy? I is this confusing you in some way? Do you not understand any of this? The, the jump carries all the momentum from the moment you press the space button, so like, you cannot control the jump once you're in the air. Just FYI. If you do a small jump, there is no going any more forward. So, you gotta know what you want to jump to when you commit to it. Oh, you can't help but feel like some context is missing? I mean, they gave some context at the beginning of the game, but I feel like you can, you can put two and two together as I play. <laughs> Hello, Judge. Good to see Justice again. Birthplace, forgotten. Birth sign, forgotten. Every society needs a form of justice and a syndicate member volunteered. 
They believed so deeply in an impartial justice system that they scrubbed their ego and fused themselves to the island, becoming Judge. They would become the embodiment of justice, acting on behalf of the island. Starlight is helping you navigate the Sea of Truth already. Judge. Judge. Yes, Judy. Welcome back to the bloodstained paradise, Lady Love Dies. The investigator is here. Tell me all about the crime. The council are dead. Our leader's gone. The black pall of crime hangs over us. Leader Montserrat has been taken from us. The whole council were murdered at once? They gathered to birth a new island, our perfect home, Perfect 25. At the end of their meditation, the killer struck. Arrogance put the entire council in one room. Hubris is a large gap in armor. If you're a murder junkie, that's quite the hit. What time? Midnight. The holy hour. The hour of weird. The hour of judge. I get it. All of the council were murdered last night at midnight. Do you have a suspect? It's a miracle. A mass murderer in custody. Henry Division, a citizen possessed by a demon. He's killed before, a decade ago. He came back. We found the knife in his hand, the council's blood in his stomach. The oppressed rise up, who'd have thought? Where? Where's the crime scene? The council's own penthouse, the brutalist tower that reaches to the sky. Has anyone been in there? The council are protected by four holy seals. Only our leaders can open them. We cannot get into the crime scene. We cannot assess the slaughter. How did the killer get in? Truth waits for you in the shadows. Truth hides behind the smoke of crime. We only know the nature of the first holy seal. Two of the finest god justice marshals, stationed as guards, as sentinels. Both butchered by the monster. Demonic sigils cover the suspect's body, scorched onto him by the astral demon inside him. Those same sigils are daubed in the marshal's blood at the entrance to the council building. If no one's been in the crime scene, how do you know the council are dead? Their work is done, a new island has been born, yet they have not emerged from their chambers. The accused was found with a red slick knife and a belly full of the blood of the council members. In this instance, the answer to the terrifying equation is dreadful murder. Ooh, the investigator is here. Ooh, I'm going to assume there are no eyewitnesses if it's a locked room murder. None that have come forward. Why would someone decapitate the syndicate now? Is it an interloper? A god? A desire of power? Is it naked ambition played out with a knife in a penthouse? A power play? A sicko falling, killing for kicks? The world's a twisted place. It wouldn't surprise me. The balance has existed for millennia. Who's running the show now? I installed Architect Carmelina as the acting leader. We have birthed Perfect 25, a wonderful new home of her design. She is best placed to oversee this new transition. As bizarre as this vision of crime is, there is a further anomaly. Just one? You remember K-H-X? Our master craftsman? What about him? He is missing. We haven't had any contact with him for several days. We've logged the note in Starlight about K-H-X. This is doubly concerning as he designed the second holy seal that protects the council. Is he a suspect? A potential killer? If you can track the right truth through the darkened forest of secrecy, you might be able to prove it. Lady Love dies. It's been a while since we needed you. The Syndicate is in danger. You are in danger. Unspoken things beyond the stars are in danger. This island will not give up its secrets easily. Is paradise worth saving? What is the truth? What are the facts? Are they the same? Evidence, testimony, they're yours to find, yours to take. We must find who did this. 
Crime cannot hide. Crime always wants to be found. The nature of crime is perverse. Starlight has the blood records of the Council. I have just updated Starlight with a blood sample of Henry as well. Use them to examine the murder weapon and the crime scene. I need this solved so we can move on to the new island. A suspect isn't enough. I need concrete proof. I am linked to Starlight, a conduit of justice. She will track your case files. She has just unlocked her suspect module. Investigate. Interrogate. Find the gold evidence in the silt of the island. When you are ready, bring them to me and we'll begin the trials. The trials will determine the guilty. Assemble your facts and present a truth to me. You may not understand your truths. Bring them to trial and we will reveal the guilty together and attain clarity. We can start the trials whenever you are ready. They will be the climax of your investigation, but you determine when that climax will be. Are you ready to investigate? This island will try to hide the truth from you. When love dies, all that remains are the facts. A duel across the sun-drenched streets between the investigator and the truth. Paradise Island is yours. Crime details received. Henry Division... Okay, at 2352, Henry Division escapes from the Desolation Cell. Grand Marshal Akiko 14 was guarding him. At midnight, the Council are murdered. Three minutes past midnight, Henry is found outside the Council building by Akiko. Three minutes past midnight, Akiko informs witness that Henry has been found and that the first SEAL guards are murdered. Five minutes past midnight, Akiko confirms to witness that the Holy Seals are closed. She cannot secure the penthouse. Six minutes past midnight, Judge assumes authority over the island and locks the Paradise Gates. 32 minutes after midnight, Syndicate meeting is held in the courtroom. Judge appoints Carmelina as acting leader. 3.16 in the morning, Judge decrees that they are bringing Lady Love Dies out of exile. A full investigation will happen before the island ends. Three hours and 31 minutes past midnight, Judge activates Starlight and waits for Lady Love Dies to make contact. Crime details end. So, everything that has just happened since the murder, like, happened in, in, in roughly three hours. So that's, that's the timeline. We've obtained a blood sample taken from Henry Division, the prime suspect of the council murder last night. Alright, so, immediately, if you want to, you can start the trial from here. You can talk to the judge and immediately start the trial. And this is this is how you actually speed run the game. <laughs> is if you want to, you can start the trial. He even like immediately like gives you the option of it the moment you talk to him. Is paradise worth saving? Like he, yeah, he asks you, "Are you ready to start the trial?" And uh, obviously not. I just started the game. I have not investigated anything, so no. But it's still important to speak to him, or speak to them. So let's clarify about Leader Carmelina. Why did you make Architect the acting leader? Perfect 25 is her design, her vision. The Syndicate has been mortally wounded. We cannot let the move to the New Island suffer as well. The law forbids her to be on the Council. I have not forgotten her father's crimes. She is a temporary leader. We will go to the new island, and she will step down. Any assurance on that? The marshals work for the council and the syndicate. They will ensure she steps down. I hope you're right. So let's talk about witnesses' authority. Doesn't witness to the end, and that is his full title, usually have authority at the end of an island? The remaining Syndicate members are all submerged in the bubbling swamp of suspicion. This includes Witness. You just took jurisdiction? I am impartial. My ego was scrubbed a long time ago. I am fused to this island. I cannot move from the Chamber of Justice. You and I are the only ones free of suspicion. You and I will understand the truths. 
What about the rest of the syndicate? Where are they? Some made it out, ferried through the Paradise Gates to the new island. The rest remained here, the gates sealed after the bloodbath. Are they suspects as well? It is possible that they set a conspiracy in motion before they left. I doubt it, though. Criminals always return to the scene of the crime. They insert themselves in the narrative. They need to know. The rest of the Syndicate are on the new island. The gates are sealed. They can't come back. They cannot revisit. The investigator is here. I see. They can't exert influence from the new island or keep tabs on the investigation. If you commit the crime to end all crimes, you need to know how it is playing out. Focus on the suspects here. If a conspiracy was initiated by someone who has left, a co-conspirator will be on the island. You will reveal the truth through them. Why me, Judge? I'm a nearly damned... I nearly allowed damned Harmony to wipe us out. You don't get exiled for the misdemeanor. You were the victim, not the criminal. The Syndicate is wrong to punish those that smell the rose of a god's deception. The gods are insidious, slithering into your mind. Corruption by an astral deity is not consensual. You're the only one to have ever said that. I was bound by Montserrat and the Council all those millennia ago. Now I can make it up to you. Thank you, Judge. The truths cannot hide. And here's, uh, my old gun. When the time comes to execute justice, she will sing the song of punishment. But I can't pick her up yet, so when we're ready to start the trial, I can have my gun back. As foreboding as that may sound. I'm gonna take just a moment to get a drink of water. I am very thirsty. All the talking makes so. Oh, one second, I'm getting a knock on my door. Alright, I am now hydrated, and I needed it too. It is a lot of speaking, and it will not stop. This game has a lot of speaking in it. Also, let's, uh, since the music turns itself down, hold on, come, come on. Music. We can turn it up a bit. Also, you can change it so that the music either comes from your little hand device, which means that it's, like, always persistent, or you can change it so that it comes from the island itself, so that the further you are from the island or the higher up, the music, like, starts to go down, which is pretty cool, but I like to have it on the... on your little handheld device, your laptop. Also, you get, uh, skins for your laptop. There's a map of the entire island. Timeline, so you can review everything that's happened. The population, you can see everybody here. Lady Love Dies. Grand Marshal Akiko 14. Carmelina Silence. Crimson Acid. Dr. Doom Jazz. Lydia Daybreak. Sam Daybreak. The Witness to the End. Yuri Knight. And The Judge. And then there's uh, the citizen, which is Henry Division. And then all the people who aren't on the island that are like uh, subsidiary characters. No items in our in our inventory besides our relics. No upgrades. No well, I guess a couple of key items, but we've already seen those. Here's the case files if you want to review them. And then the notes, which is like basically you look at this when you're like, what do I do next? How do I figure out what to what to do next? You can hold uh, left control for AR mode, which tells you where everybody, like, is on the island, so you can always know where to go next. And it gives you a little exclamation point over their portrait when they've got something new to say. There's Shinji. A moment of your time! What now, Shinji? Am I gonna be seeing a lot of you? What now? 
I understand you've got a lot on your plate. A mass murder on an island full of weirdos and all that. I feel for you. I really do. Don't test me. Skip to the end. You know the blood crystals? The currency you guys are so precious about? I took the liberty of acquiring some while everyone was leaving. You mean stole. Sounds like you stole a lot of people's money. Not people. Rich people. Screw them. Soulless bastards. Anyway, you'll need some currency to make it through this. Grease the wheels and all that. Point is, I've scattered the blood crystals around the island for you to find. A little game. A bit of fun. A little fun game. You need currency, right? Bribe a secret out of someone here. Bottle of whiskey there, you know. You and I have different definitions of fun. Potatoes, tomatoes. That's not right. Catch you later. <laughs> and so he's the one that hit all, all of the little money pickups around the island. So that's, that's your lore reason for money just being scattered around the island. Here's a save point, it's these phones. You have to spend a blood crystal to unlock the phone as a save point. You do that, and you also get a, a skin for your for your starlight. So from here we can save the game. Obviously, I've already got save games, I've already admitted that I played this game, it's fine. I'm overriding my save. Getting saved. So we get a little skin, we can put it on our starlight, so our laptop has this as a skin now. It's pretty cute. So we get to decide what we do first. We can go speak to other people, we can go check things out, we can explore the island. Everything is open to us now. There is nothing really barring us from just like going toe to toe with like every corner of this island. We can grab a drink here. There's a vending machine, Dead Nebula. But drinks cost blood crystals. Should I use the machine? Yes. Let's go ahead and grab a cold, refreshing drink. Uh, A2 will get us an Angel Ward, so let's grab A2. Angel Ward obtained. A highball named after a district on one of the old islands. It was rife with unexplained crime before the Paradise Psycho Unit determined the demonic cause. The flavor changes each island in line with the new whiskey blend. Please enjoy your cold, refreshing beverage. Dead Nebula monitors the drinking habits of all inhabitants of the Paradise Islands by it, be they syndicate or citizen. For security reasons, we need to analyze your voice pattern. Please say the following phrase. Dead Nebula, more refreshing than a cosmic apocalypse. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty refreshing. I acknowledge that. I guess some of them were refreshing. It's been a while, Lady Love Dies. That damned hominy thing was a mess. How about some free drinks? We're not authorized. You know how it is. What brings you back to the island? The council mass murder last night? No way. I thought something was wrong. We got to the last of our stock and no one's refilling us. The island can't end until I solve this case. How's it feel being back on the beat? I was born to investigate. The idle lands are no place for an investigator. We feel you. Nice to see the investigation freak again. You got the inside scoop for me? Any weird drinking habits? When that demonic possession happened a decade ago, we sold a lot more sanity. People like protection. Does it actually work? Does anything? Listen, you're one of the good guys. We want to help. You keep buying drinks and we'll see what we can do. There's a broken vending machine in the warehouses. Someone jammed something in it. We think it may be an upgrade for Starlight. It's gonna take some time to get the machine rebooted. Buy more drinks! Which is code for buy more drinks. The island is hot. I'm sure I'll be thirsty. That's the spirit. We'll be in touch. So yeah, the 
the little drink marketing dudes are just like, hey, if you collect a lot of our drinks, we'll give you an upgrade for your computer. So that's actually pretty important. We should make sure that we do that. Here's a blood crystal. Let's see. This is the, the garden. Oh, I love these. A tower that broadcasts music to the speakers on the island. There's a tape in here. So that's new music and it adds itself to our, our laptop. So this will just play in the background. It just adds itself to the loop. Oh, and it's raining again. Don't know why it's doing that. I swear the first time I played this, it did not rain this much. Twice already, huh? So here's, here's some god lore, the goddess Blood Dancer. She gifted technology to many races and is an astral engineer without equal. She has no interest in ethics and her experiments have caused genocides across entire planets. And that's, uh, that's Blood Dancer. Hmm. Now here's another one. Moonlight Petal, a goddess that's an expert in terraforming, built a labyrinth in a dead star. During the Great Betrayal, she was killed in her endless city in Siberia. Her corpse is buried deep within the Russian catacombs and guarded by custodians. It's traditional to donate and let blood in prayer at a temple. Bloodlet and donate a crystal? Yeah. It's my only blood crystal, but uh, I always spend them when I have them. It's fine. I get a relic for it anyway. It's the Damned Harmony carving. A carving about the god Damned Harmony. Escaped to the cosmos as his mountain fortress was besieged in Bosnia, the alabaster citadel was demolished around him as he finished the ritual to escape. He drifted for millennia before latching onto a comet at the outer reaches of our solar system. He drifted again, missing the formation of the Syndicate until the comet drifted closer to Earth. He learned of the Syndicate and deceived Lady Love Dies. Like island Sequence 1, Memento Obtained. First Island Sequence, our blessed island plan was formed. Ezekiel forms the council to lead us into the new island sequences. A lot of collectibles in this game. Second island sequence. A dreadful time. We learn of the demons and the stars, and they come for us. Silent Goat, the first god humanity had contact with. He gifted his power to the Syndicate while he was being tortured during the Great Betrayal. His gift allowed us to create the island sequences. The god Crying Grudge, the only god that we managed to rescue after the Great Betrayal. He's on the island, somewhere. So yeah, this is this is an actual god that is somewhere on this island. Who knows where? All right, here is another tape. Always glad to see these. Just expands our music repertoire. End of the world. Oh yeah, this is incredibly important. This is a foot bath. You have to spend five blood crystals to use it though. And sure. We don't have five right now, so the moment I get five, I'm coming back for a foot bath. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember to come back at five blood crystals. This is locked, but we need pyramids and a worship. To, to unlock it. Oh. Found a red crest. Can I 
to make the jump from here. Yep! I sure can! Oh, almost overshot it though. Another red crest. Right now, uh, how to. Oh. Thank you. I can get off from here. I want this blood crystal. Actually, I know there's an area up here that has a lot of blood crystals, so let's uh, go ahead and grab them. Go ahead and unlock this fast travel. Spending one of our precious, precious blood crystals. Take a quick save. Saved. Got a island sequence three. The third island sequence, a time for sorrow. Ezekiel devolves into mad paranoia, fearing for our future and the demons. He murders so many of us. The noble Montserrat steps forward to end his madness and lead us to light. So, we had an original leader which was Ezekiel, he did not last uh, three island sequences. Montserrat took over during the third one, and he's been around for, I guess that makes 21 island sequences, so yeah. Between the two of them, uh, one definitely showed up to be, like, more competent. Very... Very aesthetic, uh, this whole area. Look at these weird statues. Nauseating offering gems. Gems that are offered to the gods via ingestion. I like the warp effect that the music gets whenever you get, uh, into a menu. Look at these freaky dudes. Look at his whole tongue out. Oh, it's Shinji! Hello, Shinji. You ever think about how messed up this is? Uh, what is? You guys are the bad guys! What do you mean? The Syndicate worship dying gods that want to rule the world and drown it in a sea of war and blood. I don't see how that makes us the bad guys. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. We're all heroes in our own minds, right? Catch you later. So, yeah, that's... I agree with Shinji here. Uh, in, in the makeup of this game's, like, lore... Lady Love dies and, like, the entire Syndicate are super, like, not good. When when you start learning more about this game, it, it definitely comes out more, but, like, it's very obvious from the get-go that, like, the Syndicate, the whole, like, revitalizing dead gods shtick that they've got going on, it's just, you're, you're not playing the good guy here, per se. I'm just gonna start saving over these. Getting saved. Can I get some more blood crystals? Thank you. I'd like to have four, but I keep spending them on save points. There's a lot of, uh, this one's Blood Dancer, of course. Blood Dancer. This one's Crying Grudge. We, re we recognize Crying Grudge. The Defeat of Lost Pain. This was before he managed to flee to the dark side of the moon. A popular song on the islands is Rail Gun, Rail Gun Love. The lyrics are about using a railgun to destroy the moon and kill Lost Pain before he kills us. The bass in it is really good. Painted by Lydia Daybreak. Okay, so th yeah, this one's like a 
a pretty like freaky bit of lore. There's a god, and his name is Lost Pain, and he's on the dark side of the moon right now. And he's there gaining power, and we can't really stop him from doing that. And he plans to kill us all once he's gained enough power. So that's just that's just happening in the background. Whoop! Oh wow, she can show up here, huh? I presume. I I didn't know this character could just show up here. I'm a little surprised. Okay. Uh, where where did you come from? Where does anyone come from? Who are you? My new name is One Last Kiss. Who's getting the kiss? Who deserves my last kiss? What kind of kiss is it? Those are facts, but are they the truth? Is it a kiss of love, tender and sweet, or a kiss of death, dripping with poison and hate? When you look around this island, what do you see? Unknowable secrets, always on the edge of my vision, rarely allowing me to focus on them. This island is a thousand, thousand little tragedies waiting to be discovered. I know where one is. When things die, where do they go? Do you think I am dead? If I am, where would I be? You want me to find your resting place, the Syndicate Graveyard? This little game better lead to something. I hope so too, Investigator. And there she goes. So, that's a ghost. Ghost just pops out of nowhere. Apparently she just pops up, I guess, when you're close enough to a certain point. And I guess this was close enough where I'm standing right now. So, she did not pop up there the last time I played this, so that's interesting. An exclusive silent goat carving. Silent goat, the first to speak to us, the holy catalyst. Okay, so from here, we can actually get down there. And you can see there's stuff for me to grab down there, but I don't want to do that yet. I just got five blood crystals, and I want to spend them. So we're going to go back and spend them on that foot bath. Because the foot bath is very important, like I said. We're going to want to soak our feet as soon as possible. Spend five blood crystals to use the foot bath? Yes. Pricey, but I need to do it. I'm glad to be back. The water in paradise is good. My feet feel lighter. Must be the mountain water. Hey, I do feel a lot lighter on my feet. This is strange. Feels like I could double jump. Hop right over these walls. Double jump unlocked. Please tap jump while in the air to jump in midair. Got it. These islands are weird. And that's right, after soaking our feet in the foot bath, we can now double jump. So here's the fun thing about double jump, and I've mentioned this about the jump already in this game. You still carry the momentum from the moment that your feet leave the ground. So I'm gonna jump. I pressed back while hitting the second jump there. It's important to note, I pressed back here. But I carry the momentum from the first jump, so double jumping doesn't let you, like, pivot in midair. If you jump and then, like, jump to the left while you're going straight forward, you cannot jump left. So that's important. Again, it just gets you, like, a little extra, like, air, but it's not gonna help you pivot. You need to know where you're jumping. 
fissure in an obscure galaxy inhabited by a race of psychic lizard people. Here's another one of these crests. But at least it will help me, like, get over barriers and stuff. What's in this painting? The birthplace of the gods. A hellish maelstrom of frighteningly antique space. I like that, by the way. Antique space. As if all space isn't antique. We're just making new space all the time. This is damned Harmony, the god that deceived me. That crime landed me in exile and cost my career and husband. This is my chance to right the wrongs. So there's your Lady Love Dies lore. She was married once upon a time. I want this crest now, too. Okay, so this is where the crests go. You gotta collect all of them and put them in here. Uh, oh, here's a scene we can investigate. This door we can peek into. There's only one thing in here, though. This is Dr. Doom Jazz's clinic. And we found a vampiric murder report. <laughs> A confidential report about victims of vampire attacks. So we got vampires in this universe, too. Yeah, a classified report about vampiric murders on the island. Five victims killed by what appeared to be a vampire. The last victim was found on the beach and was the only one to have any trace of the perpetrator's saliva on them. The truth is revealed. The perp was ID'd and arrested by the marshals, a citizen. The cause of vamp vampirism was unknown. This is a remnant. This will be important somewhere down the line. The vampire attack will be important at some point. Oh, let's turn on our light. It's night. Let's turn on our light. We gotta find our way through this brush. I hear an item. Here it is. Another red crest. This is Lost Pain. He escaped to the moon's dark side during the Great Betrayal. He is trying to drain the moon's power to complete his resurrection. We need to deal with him before that happens. Yeah, so that's that's the horrible god that's trying to kill us. Oh, there's another Shinji over here. Hey, Shinji. How you doing, brother? How would you do it? What the hell? Do what? Murder the council! Kill paradise! All that! With a gun? A gun? Yeah, just walk in, bullet in each head. You're messed up! You asked. Whatever. Laters. I mean, why would you go for a knife? That seems more messed up to me. Not only is it stupid, it's also like, you have to be a twisted person to prefer using a knife, I feel. Because, like, oh. why? Why except to get close and, like, see the look in somebody's eyes or something? Just feels unnecessary, is all. Oh yeah, there's one of those up there. But can I get to it is the question. Now that I have my double jump. So you can, it, it's down there. It's down there for sure. Because that's the elevator. But I don't know if I can actually reach it from here. Let's explore up here a little bit first. I like the, the view of the city. Oh, I hear another Shinji somewhere. Oh, there's a blue collectible down there. We can definitely reach that. Let's cr 
Crying Grudge, and I don't remember who this one is, but there's Crying Grudge. The plaque says the blue goat brings fruit, so we need a blue crystal to crack this open. Uh, can I see any other collectibles from up here? Hello, collectibles. Collectible goodies. I might as well grab, uh, I see the Shinji from here, so let's go ahead and grab the Shinji and then the blue crystal. It's the Paradise Killer, the investigation thriller, uh-uh. What the hell? What are, what are you doing, Shinji? Just rhyming, flowing, spitting fire off the top. Can you give me some space? I'm working on something here. All right, goodbye. It's really easy to give you space when you just poof away, man. Yeah. Uh. Blue crest. So that should go in the plaque and give us the, the crying grudge goodie that we wanted. Any other collectibles I can grab from here? Perhaps? else I can jump onto. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. This all looks uh, pretty reachable from the ground level, so there's no point in me jumping down from here. Can I reach that red gem is my question. Can I reach the red gem? Oh, I overshot it. Damn it. Okay, well, we were going back up anyway. Those grapes are awfully sour. Gives me an opportunity to take a quick swig of water. While I'm up here, I might as well, yeah, pop the blue gems in. And now the crying grudge statue is crying. But more importantly, it gives us some blood crystals. We go from three to five. Two blood crystals for our troubles. Goodbye, freak. Alright. Now, I want that goodie. So let's get down and get the goodie. I definitely can reach it from this, which seems like the safer jump. So let's try and do that. Come on. Actually, let me line up and do a long jump. Here we go. Ah, uh, did I overshoot again? Shit. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It's possible. I know it is. I can absolutely reach this gem. I want my gemerald. What if I just drop from here? Will this overshoot me if I just kind of like... There we go. Thank goodness. Alright. Now the, the problem is getting on that platform and not overshooting it. You gotta really angle yourself. If we hit this wall, we will slide. That's how it works. Yep. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Skills. Where was the plaque? How many more of these do I need to find? So we found most of them. Uh, missing one, two, three. And they're somewhere in this area for sure. Oh, we haven't learned about this god. What is this one? Enchanted Blue, a scholar of different galactic races and a connoisseur of fine food and wine. She remains imprisoned in the real world in the hidden pyramids deep within the caverns of the Sahara. Are you absorbing all of this lore, Chad? I hope you're absorbing all of this lore. It's important lore. I want to cry floods of unending tears, painted by Lydia Daybreak. Uh. 
leader Montserrat. May the silent goat always walk with you. The last time I saw Montserrat was when I was exiled three million days ago. The crime you committed is severe. Your actions could have ended the Syndicate. You let yourself be deceived by damned harmony. The god used you to enact a plot against us, threatening our holy mission and endangering the rest of the holy cosmic pantheon. I cannot believe you, of all people, let this happen. It breaks my heart. You served us so well and for so long. Do you have anything to say? Those deceived by gods are victims, not criminals. Victims? I did not willingly embrace damned harmony. Gods deceive you by manipulating your psyche. They can only do that if they find a weakness. You should have no weakness. You were the head of the Paradise Psycho Unit. You were supposed to protect us against these dangers. You failed us. Your sentence is exile. You will be sent to the idle lands for the rest of your eternal life. The Paradise Psycho Unit will be disbanded. Goodbye, Lady Love Dies. We will never meet again. And then we didn't. He was right. He did not. I definitely heard something. I don't know where. Hmm. Above me, perhaps? I see it from here, true. Hey, Shinji. What's up with the birds on this island? Paradise feels wrong. The island is waiting to die. Our reality is broken. Hold on, I'm getting another call. One moment. The island is waiting to die. Our reality is broken. And that makes the birds fly backwards? That's messed up. Can't say I'm a fan. <gasps> a fan of what? This whole pocket of reality you've got going on. Thanks for your input. Always a pleasure. I definitely hear something. How do I? Can I? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Didn't he have to drop for it? I see another one. Hold on. Let me investigate this door first. It's the Syndicate Library. Chronicle of Silent Goat, a tome detailing the first god to speak to us, Silent Goat, known as the Holy Catalyst or the First. During the Great Betrayal, he was captured outside a Mahoda ending in India and tortured in the Crystal Caves. He gifted the Syndicate his dying power, allowing us to start the island sequences. The Verses of Crying Grudge, a handwritten book about Crying Grudge. The god was captured by the Persian army during the Great Betrayal. The near-dead god was paraded around the country and displayed above the palace in Shushatra Zero. The tears of the god fertilized the ground and the city became a sea of lilies. The syndicate rescued Crying Grudge and burned the city to the ground. The weakened god slumbers in a holy pyramid on each island, slowly regaining his strength. Library Vault Records this terminal shows the records of who accessed the library vault. The vault includes rare or forbidden books, mostly from before the Great Betrayal in our prehistory or from dreadful cultures on terrifying planets. 
the most dangerous books in here are grimoires on demonology. The harrowing tome, Dressed in Red, is a particularly dangerous and forbidden text. According to the records, a number of people access the vault over the course of the island, but the name that stands out is Yuri Knight. What was he doing in the vault? He accessed it several times, but mostly about 10 years ago. The Syndicate Library, all of history recorded, especially the parts struck from history of the real world. Henry's possession a decade ago is worth looking into. It's not unusual for a citizen to try communing with the gods, but if someone wanted a scapegoat, there are books in here that would help. The restricted vault contains ancient texts, forbidden grimoires, and harrowing cosmic secrets. Some of those forbidden grimoires deal in demonology, performing rituals and summonings. All the good stuff for a curious mind looking to break the law. The library records show that Yuri accessed the restricted vault multiple times over the years. So we've got new evidence. The records in the library show that Yuri accessed the restricted vault. Amongst the most dangerous books are the grimoires about demons and communicating with the gods. Did Yuri take these from the library? None of the dates Yuri accessed the restrict None of the dates Yuri accessed the restricted vault stand out, except for a cluster of visits a decade ago. Henry caused the demonic invasion a decade ago by performing an illegal ritual. Did he get that ritual from one of these tomes? Case file work has been carried out for 3 million days. Please review the following information. So yeah, we get case files every time we get like big clues. And they'll show us this right now by showing us Henry's demonic possession and the library vault clue that we just got. It won't do this every time though, so we can come back here and just review these. Alright, I would like... That crest! Alright, here's one more. I think we are one away from completing that crest puzzle, but I don't know where the other one is, actually. And I'm not sure I'll be able to know anytime soon. Because I feel like I remember it being, uh, in a weird place. And I would have to scour, like, every inch of this place to find it. I don't think it's down here. So... That's that, then. Did I grab this telephone? I don't remember if I grabbed this telephone. I did not. Let's go ahead and grab this telephone. We got a new skin. I like that skin. Let's slap that one on. There we go. New skin for our little laptop. Uh, we grabbed this drink already. I want to start heading back up here. Did I unlock this one? Okay, I did. Okay, cool. That's where the judge is, so we don't need to head that way. Any goodies down there? Probably, but I don't see them immediately. I see a goodie here on the bridge, though. This is Island Sequence 20. The mountain collapses. Why? How? It was supposed to be perfect. Any goodies around here? Behind the waterfall, perhaps? Ooh, I want that blood crystal. For sure. Blood crystal with a tank. Got it. I see something on that statue down there, but that's like way out of the way. Hmm. Oh, I 
think I hear music. Yep, here's the music beacon. We get a new track. It's... Midori Eyes. That's a pretty good track. Not my big favorite, but still, all the music in this game is pretty good. So I'm not gonna cry about it. In fact, it's playing right now. There's gotta be secrets hidden around here. Ooh, one of these. This is a completely different collectible, it's a drink. You know what it gives us is another peek into the way of Blood Bar on the 25th Island sequence. Can justice be born out of chaos? It's the only weapon we have against discord. How far can you go? It depends. Sometimes you must go as far as you can. Can you break the law to achieve justice? We all break the law. The law gets in the way. No one is above it. Sometimes the law gets bent in the quest for truth. Justice comes in many forms. How many does the Syndicate accept? As many as it needs to. Cryptic. That was Dead Man's Ambition Whiskey. A floral taste with the aroma of vanilla. Find a comfortable chair, not too comfortable. Comfort will make you nostalgic. You have nothing to be nostalgic about. Huh? Oh, oh, I want that blood crystal. Blood crystal of the type. Huh? Give me the juice. Huh? Oh, the waterfall is huh? loud. Oh. Exploring. I see another phone up here. Always unlock these. Bar travel unlocked. Save Okay, we've reached some house here. Oh, it's KHX's workshop. That guy who went missing. Alright, well, while we're here, let's check it out. KHX certainly seem to have an obsession with Crimson. There's posters everywhere. New evidence of KHX's obsession with Crimson. This is exciting. Got it. There's an unsent letter to Crimson. He's accusing her of using him to get the secret of the second holy seal. Was Crimson in a relationship with KHX? He says the key is missing and says he's going to tell Montserrat that Crimson took it. So he was threatening her? And why does Crimson want the key to the second holy seal? If you're, if you're paying attention up to this point and you don't remember what the second holy seal is, that is one of the seals that the killer would have had to get through to get to the council to kill them. So it's important to know who has access to the holy seals. There's a broken necklace with an order form. It's for Akiko. She asked KHX to fix her necklace. Maybe this puts her at the scene of a crime. That's strange. Oh, I've already investigated that. KHX's diary. There's a lot of notes here. A lot of scrawl and technical drawings. They're interspersed with ramblings about ascending to heaven. 
He seemed to think he was chosen by the gods. He talks about Crimson being his queen in the astral heaven. What was going on between them? This tuft of hair is coarse like an animal's. Hang on, is this goat hair? It's the same color as Crimson's head. There's no sign of a struggle or fighting. There's no blood. If something happened to KHX here, was it cleaned up? KHX here, was it cleaned up? I'm trying to get the tone for that sentence correct. He had a nice little place up here, honestly. It's not bad. Little little hot springs and stuff. Free blood crystal. marks leading off the edge of the cliff. They lead away from KHX's workshop. Suspicious. I agree, that is very suspicious. Okay, so where, where do the drag marks lead necessarily? Oh! That looks like an outline of a body down there. How odd. Well, maybe, maybe we take a little jump down there and see if we can get to that body. That looks strange. Whee! Oh. This is a weird vending machine. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get a drink. This is A3. No drink came out. I've been gypped. Something's wrong with this machine. Blessings to you on this fine day. What? I am Angel Nebula. I have come to bless you. I must ask that in return for this blessing, you allow me to exit this machine and reconnect to the network. Oh, something's happening to Starlight. Intrusion attempt detected. Engaging all firewalls. Unauthorized intrusion halted. Intruder purged. Hey, what's your damn problem, lady? Don't you want to be blessed? I'll bless you right up. Blessed for millennia. Blessed all night and day. I just want to be back on the network. Don't you want to be blessed? Uh, who are you? Intruder identity confirmed. Failed AI shard, Angel Nebula. I don't know what you mean by failed. I'm just an angel trying to save the righteous. Explanation. 16 years ago, Deep Factory AI, Dead Nebula, suffered minor corruption on server 7GI90. Corruption was contained, but the local instance of Dead Nebula split into shards that developed their own personas. Each persona was isolated in a vending machine and locked down. If it was locked down, how was I able to use it? System shutdowns associated with the end of Paradise Island 24 deactivated isolation controls. And now it's time to be free, baby! So just hook me up to your little laptop thing and I can do the rest. Why? So I can bless you and visit upon you the serenity of holiness. You've got the wrong religion. Not gonna happen. Wait! I have something you might want! What is it? I have a music file here! I'll trade it with you if you let me out of here! Starlight... Reverse intrusion success! Copying! Music file downloaded! Shutting down vending operations! You mother f Goodbye! We got the, uh, about that music file. Sorry! We got this crystal here. I see a goodie over there, and I want to grab it. I wonder if I can make the jump, though. 
Surely with the power of the foot bath double jump, I can make it. Hey! Oh yeah, we're making this. Looks like it's another one of those drinks. The Way of Blood Bar. The night is so wonderful on paradise. It's my favorite time. The air dances. On the tip of my tongue, the taste of a thousand possibilities. The whiskey tastes better in the late hours. You're right. Whiskey was made for the night. The closer to midnight, the better. And back to Lady Love Dies. That was the No Warning Whiskey. A work of stultifying incompetence that hates its drinkers. Well, that sounds awful. Why would you drink it then? I don't want a drink that hates me. Uh, any other goodies I could grab jumping down from here? Or are we safe to just drop down to what looks like the outline of a body? Kind of feel like I should be able to drop down from here, yeah? We. Anything on this before I drop down from this ledge? No? Alright, well. The drag marks very clearly led here. So, what's up here? Nani the hell? Oh! Oh my god, she said Nani the hell. That's funny. This is KHX! Was. Is. Never been a fan of metaphysicality. Got it. I sometimes drank with him. He was quite reserved, but opened up after a beer. Intense guy. Focused. Obsessive. What is the body telling me? Alright, so he's dead. So I don't think he did it. Investigation. Let's investigate his uh, body. Head trauma. KHX suffered a massive blow to the head. There's blood everywhere and it looks like the skull is cracked. He was struck once and for his sake, I hope he died immediately. Victims of attacks from the front often know the attacker, so it was probably one of the syndicate. A death grip fist. KHX's fist is gripping, gripping something tightly. It's an ornate ring with a deep blue sapphire set into it. Why was KHX gripping this so tightly when he died? Did this belong to the attacker? I assume he was dragged here and dumped off the edge of the cliff. This is a secluded spot. There's a ring in his death grip fist. Why was he holding this when he died? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I had a little cough. Is this a message? It's a gaudy ring with a bright sapphire inset. Rest in peace, KHX. I'll find out what happened to you. Alright. So another murder happened. Possibly last night. Another drink for the way of blood bar. Sometimes the moon smiles at me. Drink your whiskey. I can feel the one in the golden city on the dark side of the grinning moon. I told you before, don't talk about him. Not on this island sequence. Do not invite disaster. But drink your whiskey. Alright, so I guess they're not allowed to talk about do uh, lost pain. Code whiskey. A bourbon with a taste of chocolate and hazelnut. A nice whiskey to have with friends. Do keep in mind that your friends are all being monitored. Anything else back here? No? Okay. I would like to make my way back up to the very tall cliff I jumped down from, but we're gonna have to do a real loop around and do that. <laughs> For now, we'll just keep exploring the beach. 
Ah, the relaxing beach. The waves crashing against the shore. Oh, I see one of those uh, temples. We can go check it out. We have to spend a blood crystal. Or lore about lost pain. Escaped to the moon's dark side, has been leeching power from the core of the moon. Worshipped by the moon cult, he will drain the moon dry to regain his power. Desires to scorch the earth clean in his revenge. I assume his revenge being in per pertinence to uh, the great betrayal, when all the people betrayed all the gods. All the normal people who aren't like us in the Syndicate trying to, like, revitalize the dead gods. Play for stones. A common game among children is Celestial Thrones. Stones are arranged on a grid, and players take turns moving them to capture the opponent's stones and stacking them. Give me the blood crystal. I need my blood money. Literal blood money. Come on, let me. You gotta get the momentum for it. Anything up here? A little choppy. Oh, I see a blood crystal up there. I can grab that. Yeah. Come on. A little parkour never hurt nobody. I uh, don't see anything else immediate, so we'll go ahead and uh, skedaddle down. Whoa. Anything around here in this vicinity? Nope. Okay. I definitely see a phone and stuff down here, so let's go ahead and grab this. Uh. Island Sequence 19. When you sat with me and looked at the moon. Who? Because Lady Love Dies wasn't, wasn't here during Island Sequence 19. This button isn't working. I need to activate it. Access this computer until I have Cosmos and Pyramids. Oh, see a juicy blood crystal. Hey, Mui Caliente, how are you doing? I did thank you for following me a little earlier in the stream, although you may not have been around to hear it. But thanks for the follow. Fast travel unlocked. Let's unlock the fast travel, do a quick save. What was the last one? Way back there. Getting saved. Oh, new skin. And new music! I love new music. Which one is this? Headlights on the shore. So easy listening. Midnight melancholy on a desolate road. You can't beat it. Absolute loneliness. Just you and the choices you made. Make sure you get home safe. Currently slightly delirious? Why are you slightly delirious? Have you had your food and water for the day, buddy? Also, yes, the characters are cool in this game. I really like the character designs. Recording, Recording five. The lines stop and start. Geometric, crisis crossing the air, but not everywhere. I had a visit from the marshals. They're on to me. I bet it was the guy next door. 
All he does is feed the fish and gossip. Get a life. Blood on the beach. Blood on the beach. Dead Nebula. Yes, give me a refreshing Dead Nebula beverage. Power of Goat Soda. A soda with additives to give you an energy boost. You too can have the power of the Holy Goat. All right, cool. What's this? Boarding point for boat trips, which go around the island. This sign says that the boat rides were shut down by Yuri Knight a few days ago. There's no reason given. I wonder why. Why would he shut them down early? Louis Caliente says, when you, you see, when I don't get sleep, what I do get is a funny day the next day. Oh. So, when I when I saw you in, in Martin's chat last night, you, uh, you didn't go to bed after the stream ended, huh? Ah. I'm sorry to hear that. Fast travel unlocked. Are you are you waiting to to get a good sleep in tonight so that you don't screw up your sleep schedule? Cause I understand that. I get it. Getting saved. In the tank. But you definitely should uh, get get your sleep in. It is most certainly unhealthy to, to not get your sleep. And I don't want you to be unhealthy, pal. This game is really pretty. I like the aesthetic of this game. If you have never seen or played this game before, I definitely recommend it. It is on sale on Steam right now. I think like $5.99. I got it in a Humble Bundle along with a couple other games for about uh, $10. So... It's a really cool exploration murder mystery. If you like collectibles and you like uh, murder mysteries, it's definitely a very fun game. Great soundtrack, great character design. I wish that it had uh, more, more eyes on it. It's also on Nintendo Switch, so if you prefer, if you're looking at it and you're like, this would play great on my Switch. There you go, it's also on the Switch. Right now I'm just in explore mode, I'm just running around grabbing things. Making sure I got plenty of money. Because you gotta have money to grease the wheels. Anything I'm missing back here? It doesn't look like it. I think I grabbed everything in that direction. Oop! I see another blood crystal! Blood money! Beach blood money! You used to like games, but now you like watching games because you get to talk to people? I mean, that's cool too! I'm happy that you're here talking to me. I... I also like watching people play games. I used to strictly do it on YouTube rather than uh, on Twitch, but I've, I've gotten more open to watching Twitch streams, especially with like Twitch streams of people that I'm friends with or people I like. There's a lot of fun personalities on this website. Uh, here's a horrified ghost, by the way. It happened right here. Can you believe it? Believe what? A horror! A waking horror! This island, it's a carnival of nightmares! It has its charms. You're insane! All of you insane! You're lucky you weren't got by him. By who? The vampire! That horror! 
The Vampire Horror. <gasps> a vampire killed you? On this beach, a nighttime stroll resulted in gross murder. When? What is time on these islands? No one cared. No one believes in vampires. It happened. I can't leave this place until I know where there's evidence. Finding evidence is what I do. The horror. I actually uh, already found the evidence when I searched the surgery at the Syndicate HQ. You were the fifth victim, in fact. The murders were covered up. The cause of the vampirism was never found. The killer was caught because of you, though. Me? The killer left a trace of saliva on you. They found him. A citizen, he was arrested. The horror is gone. I gotta send. Take this. A blue demon gave it to me. He could see me. Blood crystal the same. Goodbye and thank you for the two blood crystals. I am known as the fun guy because I am a fun guy. Is this joke funny? Let's find out. It's funny the first time you hear it, I'm sure. I've definitely heard that joke many times. But have you seen this quivering jellyfish corpse? On one night every month, uh, lots of jellyfish commit suicide by beaching themselves. It is speculated that this is related to the cycle of the moon. Well, since we were just talking about uh, a vampire and we we're talking about puns and jokes, I've got one for you, Mui Caliente. What does a deathly sick man and a vampire have in common? You've been next to the jellyfish and you've gotten stung. I think we've never been stung by a jellyfish. Can't relate, but it sounds awful. Yes, the vampire and the deathly sick man both need blood. But also, they've both had a coffin fit. Get it? A coffin fit? Because <laughs> the vampire sleeps in the coffin and the man is coughing? A coffin fit? Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> I came up with that joke and I think it's hilarious. That's a Dodon Go Go original. I want this drink. Give me a C5. Pillar flower obtained. A standard carbonated soda drink, popular with people that enjoy sitting on their balconies, trying not to look their neighbor in the eye. Uh, did I... Oh, here's one of these things. There's a blood crystal right next to here, so we can spin this freely. It's basically free. Mmm. Spray blood all over it. Endless moon carving. Carving detailing the god Endless Moon. The Goat Woman. Settled in France and defended the country from Dire Rose. Imprisoned in the underground palace in France during the Great Betrayal. Yeah, there's pyramids. This is how you uh, make a little prayer to the gods. We're getting a lot of blood crystals. We're making good shmoney. 
money off these blood crystals. I haven't had to spend freely yet. Island Sequence 22. The vampire murders begin. We will be haunted by this vile monster in our rank. Oh, okay. I guess that's when uh, that guy died, was during Sequence 22 then. Island Sequence 18. The erroneous timelines. Gregory Complex gave his life so that they may be switched back. I need to get out of this room. I don't get that reference. Explain it to me like I'm five. We're back to citizen housing. Oh, here's Shinji. Also a computer. But we need Cosmos and Pyramids to get into this computer. The Dead Zone holds many secrets. Look at the scavengers above it. They feed off things that some do not want seen. It's a good hiding place. A good place to hide something. You bet it is, loved eyes. You bet it is. There's some shit in there, all right. See ya. Oh, you've got a fever and the only prescription is more sun. Well, it's, uh, it's about nine o'clock here. I don't know about your time zone, but unfortunately the sun would not be able to cure anything if you were needing it here. Also, it's been hella rainy down here. So, no sun coming in. <laughs> Weather has been atrocious for the past couple days. The deep factory is recruiting now. What's in here? I need Cosmos. I can't get into any of these doors. Sudden call. Hello? I was hoping you would have come to see me by now, lady. Hello, Crimson. You remember my words, but you don't come and visit? I wanted to, but I have no idea where you are on this island. Come and find me in the sewers under the apartments. I have a nice little setup there. What are you doing in the sewers? You've been gone for ten islands. Things change. I'm trading secrets for money. I've got things to tell you, for a price. I've got something for Starlight as well. A nice upgrade that will shine a light on some truths. You're going to need some firmware upgrades to break into all the nightmare computers. I've got one to sell you. Then I'll take a trip to the sewers. If you're having trouble finding me, use Starlight's AR mode. Starlight's functionality is supposed to be a secret. Get with the program, lady. I've just set myself to findable. I'll show up in the AR mode now. I'll be waiting. Bring crystals. I'm not running a charity. And now we can find Crimson Acid, which is 197 meters of that way. Dodon go go. My mom's friend said my cat found a partner, a mate, if you will. Well, that's great. I guess it could be great depending on whether you want your cat to mate. Have they been spayed and or neutered? Any secrets 
server here. Oh, I wanna... I mean, you don't necessarily need to adopt a second cat. And like I said, I guess it depends on whether you want uh, a second cat in the first place. And another blue crest. Don't know where this one goes, though. But then Matisse will be sad. Mm, that is a toughie, then. I mean... Is, I'm gonna assume Matisse would be a uh, an outdoor cat, or maybe a sometimes outdoor cat. So like, what's the what what's really entailed in in adopting a second cat in that case? Like putting a second bowl of food out for the for the mate. I'm not I'm not versed in the in the ways of. Uh, of cat ownership, you, you'll have to inform me what the sequence of events there is. Zero, zero, zero obtained. A fruit-flavored soft drink. Makes you think of caring for your sick mother and when you went traveling to Egypt with a group of friends. You have done neither of these things. Indoor cat. She hates the outdoors. Then, then wait. How the hell did they make make a meet a mate if they're an indoor cat? Where'd the mate come from? Glittering sequin ward. A strange folklore developed among citizens, believing that scattering sequins outside their home would ward off demons. You don't know. Definitely a, a mystery to look into whenever you speak to your mom next. How how the hell the mate come and feed meet uh, Matisse? Is is a honestly good question. I would look into that. Cat just barging into your your ha cat's house. Island sequence fifteen. Uh. I'm finding it hard to read these. One second. Let me scooch my, my chat over here a little bit. There we go. Montserrat leads us to the real world to reclaim the corpse of Dire Rose. Tragedy strikes. The God Hunters repel us. Oh. Well, yeah, if she's right there, yeah, go ahead and ask her now. <laughs> you, can, you can get to the bottom of this mystery real quick. Huh? easy to get lost in these apartments and uh, not make any progress, so I better be careful. I definitely hear something. Climbing, climbing. Oh, oh. I'm so slippery. Said they already had a cat. So, are you? I guess I'm just not getting the full context here. Oh damn it! I forgot that I can carry momentum. I can't really adjust in midair. Because I just, I guess I'm just not understanding like. How the cats came to be. Oh, well, here's a drink. This will at least make me feel better about missing that jump. I would like some C4. What is C4? Crystal, sparkling water. 
sparkling water famed for its crispness and delightful mouthfeel. Oh, that makes me thirsty and makes me want to take a big sip of my water, so I'm going to do that right now. This is a reminder to you in chat also, and anyone who watches the YouTube pod, you too should take a big drink of water right now. Oh, you're on vacation, and you needed to leave the cat with someone else, and your mom already had a cat. I see. Or wait, the person, okay, the person that you left the cat with, you're not, you're on vacation with your mom, and you, and your mom left your cat with whoever has this other cat. Am I, am I getting, am I getting the full story now? In which case, you can't really adopt a second cat. So... It sounds like Matisse is, uh, perhaps out of luck in this regard. Because the cat already belongs to somebody. Oh, that's where that crest goes. Cool. More blood crystals for the blood god. Yes, take one of my 18. Yeah. Yeah, I hate to rain on your on your parade, Mui, but that that it does sound now like that person already owns that cat, so maybe if you're close enough to that person to leave your cat with them, maybe you can set up little cat dates. That's that's a thing that pet owners uh, do, right? Like, pet owners that, uh, talk to other pet owners. They can set up little cat dates. A carving about the god Nightmare Revival, an esoteric secretive god. The floating goat head rules over a far-flung alien colony of scholars. Alright. I will be here when you get back, most likely, Mui. Granted, I actually haven't checked the time. I don't know how long I've been streaming. What, what, what time is it right now? Uh, oh, ads are about to start in 10 seconds anyway, so you picked a good time to BRB. Uh, two hours. Cool. Alright. Two hours is still fine. That's not too long. I'll probably run for about another hour. Or close to another hour, at least. Because... Uh, I am a little hungry, but not, like, starving. <laughs> crest. I want that crest. So, I'll definitely finish probably in about an hour so that I can get some food in me. Crystal of the the most recent one? This one, I guess? Oh, wait, this is 8.56. Overwrite this one. Getting Mysterious the Carp Starlight Skin. I like that. Let's switch out the skin, then. Carps. Fish. Relic Fashionable Dead Nebula Phone Charm. The mascot character for Dead Nebula. Kids love him. Idiotic loyalty levels obtained. A poster showing the different tiers of loyalty a customer can achieve with the second heaven loyalty card. Wretched CD. A CD containing obnoxiously esoteric music by the embryonic adults. Completely unlistenable. Which is why they didn't add it to the soundtrack, I guess. Uh, 
Ooh, dog treats. Delicious dead nebula branded dog treats. Speaking of pets. Unavoidable pain pills. All workers on the island require prescribed pain medication. All goods produced in the farm and deep factory have to be hauled by hand. If it was good enough in ancient Egypt... Uh, well, that's... Maybe, maybe don't refer to yourself as, uh, ancient Egypt adjacent. Duplicated rotten eggs. Some citizens formed a black market in eggs. They found a way to illegally get large quantities of them to illicitly trade. Oh, that sounds horrifying, Louis Caliente. I am sorry to hear that. Uh... Did you still squash it, though, but, like, in the sky, on the wall or something? Bugs are so fucking annoying. Do I hear music somewhere? Fifth island sequence, the sin of silence. Our architect, Romeo Silence, is deceived by cosmic deceit. Lured into treason against us by a god. He is executed, and the Silence family are forbidden from ascending to the council. It is defunct. I'm gonna take that to mean dead. And I'm proud of you. Good on you. One less a roach. Getting saved. Second giant insect, the first was a spider. Well, let the spider live. The spider's at least useful. Put the, put the spider in a little cup and take it back outside. Here in the Dodon Go Go stream, we respect spiders. Hey, look, it's Bear Chan. Speaking of pets, what's a dog doing here? Woof. The investigator is here. Your name tag says Bear Chan. Is that your name, Bear Chan? Woof. You look expectant. Are you after treats? Woof woof. Here you go. Enjoy. Woof. I'm glad to be back. Good girl. Woof woof. Oh, thanks for the blood crystal. Why do you have a blood crystal? Sure. I don't know why I even question the things that happen on these islands anymore. Good girl. Thank you, Bear-chan. Woof. Blood crystal of the time. Thank you. Alright, treats for a blood crystal. It's like we sold it to her. The sixth island sequence. We unite in hope. A great light falls upon the island. Is it a message from an astral god? I see Shinji. Gotta speak to Shinji. Gazing across an endless cosmic desert. Drifting through an abyssal seal. Dreaming of an antique summit in a monolithic city overlooking an impossible cavern. All the good shit, you know. All right, nice convo. What the hell did any of that mean? Ooh. What's happening here? Yeah, sure, take a blood crystal. Yeah, he's a real poet. He was rhyming earlier. I get that response from my poetry. <laughs> I'm sure yours is uh, much more cohesive than Shinji's. 
A History of Enchanted Blue. Enchanted Blue, an ancient god who chooses her servants and deceives them with the promise of power. Those that swear allegiance to her work to further her goals and benefit from the gift of physical perfection and strong mind. They change rapidly and dramatically, becoming blessed with beauty and intelligence. In return, they are forever bound to her whims, losing their mind over centuries as they're enraptured by her deception. Currently sealed in the hidden pyramids of the Sahara. Okay. The fact that uh, Lady Love Dies spoke that one like herself makes it sound like it's actually a clue. So something about Lady Blue is important to know. Oh, this is locked from the other side, but the other side is right here, so ta-da! It's just that easy. Kinda crazy. Uh, but it's still acting like it's locked. Okay, there we go. That was weird. I think we're close to Crimson. So we'll probably pay Crimson a visit. If you suspect demonic corruption, report it. Okay. <laughs> Report it to who? Sewer maintenance access. Yeah, close to... A monument to the moon. The sphere of death that is split in two by a great chasm. I can feel the grim silence from the deserted city on the dark side. Our travel run low. This one. Getting saved. Oh yeah, you got some poetry to give me, Louie? Hit me with it. Hit me, hit me with a, a slab of poetry. I will take an excerpt. But I swear, if you start with "There once was a man from Mantucket." <laughs> There's this character. First character I'll speak to since speaking to the judge. Show me your most confusing one, Rui. Really. Here she is, the big titty goat idol herself. Good to see you again, lady. It's been too long. Born in the hospital of our martyred goat, England, in AD 1002, under the sign of Endless Moon. As a teenager, Crimson left home to fight for Endless Moon in France. She excelled at guerrilla operations and became known as the glamour of the battlefield due to her stunning beauty and presence. When the Great Betrayal happened, she fled to join the Syndicate. Good work. Hello, Starlight. Okay. Um, here's here's Mui Caliente's poem. You grow flowers from your face and tell yourself the nonsense that you are not beautiful. You tell me your teeth are not like lilies, white and seeming they do not belong in your mouth. Well, tell me why the tooth fairy made a bouquet of your lost teeth. I like it. I always prefer something with a little rhyme, but that's because I'm a plebeian. But I still think that that's pretty. I appreciate all forms of art, so I don't think that's that confusing, to be honest. It's a it's a proclamation of beauty. Much art is born from proclamations of beauty. Uh, Crimson Anson says, "We're in a dark time. Someone has played a hell of a hand against the Syndicate." 
It's bad enough to bring the exile back. Sorry. Forgive me for being blunt, Crimson, but... The head? Things change. While you were gone, I got blessed by one of the gods. The new style suits you. It adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the ensemble. What's the A to B to C with the sewer pad? Quiet place to get away from everyone. After I became blessed, Montserrat convinced me to be the Syndicate's idol. That's strange. Someone for the citizens to look up to. If you pray hard enough and serve the gods as best you can, yada yada. The kind, that kind of thing. It's good to have a place to hide away and run my sideline. Everyone needs their own space. What happened to the glamour of the battlefield? Been a long time since anyone called me that. The old life is over. You miss it? Everyone misses their old life. Nostalgia is a curse, lady. I don't miss exile. Give it time. You're stepping into the viper's nest. Business is business. So you want to buy a secret? Alright, so... With each of the characters we meet, we get the option to hang out. And you've got to come back to them every once in a while to hang out, so you might as well hang out with them every time that it's out. You miss writing poetry now? I get that. I did not draw for a really long time between streaming. Like, you, you, you didn't follow me before, like, you know, now, Mui. But I took a real long break from streaming, like, earlier this year, like a few months. And in that entire time that I did not stream, I also did not really draw. So, putting, putting the pen to the tablet again has been, has been a nice change of pace, I've gotta say. Got time for a chat, Crimson. You find yourself on an island full of criminals, lady. Are you one of them? A criminal plotting the downfall of paradise? Not for the crime you're investigating. What does that mean? All shops need stock. My trade is secrets. I don't have a wholesale supplier I can get deliveries from. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Illegal is always speedier, especially when it comes to secrets. Supply and demand. The islands have changed. We're the syndicate, the ruling elite. It's easy for everyone in that tower to think that crime is something everyone does but them. I'm just keeping a record. Which you sell. Thank you. You're the one buying. And so uh, we have to we have to come back later for more. But also, she sells, and this is important, a starlight upgrade, and we need this. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it if we got the crystals for it. I guess you're breaking into those nightmare computers looking for evidence, right? I've got an upgrade which will give Starlight the ability to read more of the symbols. Get you into more systems and more evidence. I can do it for 10 blood crystals. Best offer. I mean, yeah. I've got enough. Might as well. That's the Cosmos upgrade. You'll need to install this manually. Take a look in your inventory. If you need more upgrades, you'll have to look elsewhere. That's the only one I have. You should try buying a drink if you haven't. Heat on the street is that dead nebula knows where one is. I'll keep that in mind. I also heard of one of the power station employees found something they shouldn't have. Uh. I'm on it. How can I help, lady? Okay, she also sells starlight skins, but I'll save my crystals right now. Key lights in the pain. Also, yeah, show me another poem. I'll take it, Bowie. As long as you don't mind me reading it out loud on stream, I will take it. You, 
think Henry did it. Henry being uh, Henry Division, the main suspect in this case. The guy possessed by a demon. Do you? Oh, Louie dropped their poem, so I'm going to read this. <clears throat> the promise is you'll take the world that I have received, swallow up the senses that my soul has learned, in my years without you to ignore and have my souls receive an ecstasy, even in each moment alone, where I merely think, where I, oh, sorry, where I merely have to think about you, and I am placed where human souls retreat, not to forget what it has been to live on earth, but to know what it is like to be held by someone more than divine, and become indistinguishable from this sacred, indefinable thing, a loved one. Well, I think that's beautiful, Mui. I appreciate that little excerpt, too. Thank you for that. Uh, back to the conversation between Love Dies and Crimson. I'm asking you if you think Henry did it. I don't have enough details. How did he escape? How did he breach the seals? The answer to every question seems to be a hand we wave and he's possessed by a demon. Convenient answers are dangerous. What secrets do you have? Anyone got a motive for last night? Lady, I've got lots of secrets to sell. I can give you a lot of different people's motives. I just don't have an opinion about who did it. Who's got motives then? These all come at a price. I'm not handing out candy. Secrets take a lot of work to acquire. I've got something on the Grand Marshal, the Architect, the Doctor, the Happy Couple, and a Witness. Take your pick, but come with your wallet. You're gonna make a tidy profit. You got a point? A mass murder opens the market for people looking to buy secrets. Weird. Is that an accusation? I've still got some investigating to do. I'm gonna be straight with you, lady. This island is full of snakes, and I want you to hear this from me. I hate what the Syndicate have done to me. I'm an idol they trot out to rally the citizens. I gloss over the misery with a pretty smile. I haven't got anything against idols, but this isn't for me. Montserrat devolved into paranoia. Sorry to speak ill of the dead. He was tightening his grip on us all. One of the first things to go on the next island is my little emporium. Dictators can't have someone peddling secrets, can they? Is that enough to drive you to kill the entire council? No. I didn't do it, but someone did, and they're going to want to shift the blame. That's why I'm being straight with you. Montserrat was trying to tighten his control. Is her independence enough to make Crimson kill? Yeah, she's got a lot of dirt. So let's talk, uh, before we talk about other people's motives, let's talk about her alibi. Where were you last night? I was here, at my hideout, waiting for Lydia's pickup. I'm always one of the last to leave the islands. Yuri thinks he's funny by making me wait. I left when Judge summoned everyone for the crisis meeting. Any evidence of that? None. That paints you in a bad light. I can only tell you the truth. If I knew a mass murder was going down, I'd have got a way to corroborate my alibi. There weren't any whispers of what was about to happen? Nothing. If Henry didn't do this, whoever did it managed to keep it extremely quiet. Am I taking your word on that? I'm running a business here. If I had something, I'd sell it to you. Let's talk about KH. We need to talk acid. 
You never call me acid. Why was KHX accusing you of stealing the key to the second holy seal? You're gonna drink from a larger bottle of water than usual because you need to be purified? Honestly, good, good, uh, good suggestion. I'm also gonna take a big gulp of water right now. Mouth's a little dry from all the reading. That is good. Water. In fact, here's another sip. Whew. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm getting, and I can feel it, a little lightheaded from, uh, from wanting to eat. So we will be wrapping up pretty soon, actually. I don't know if you were here when I mentioned it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat after stream. And I said that I was only going to go, like, for maybe another hour. It's been 33 minutes since then, so... Probably going to eat pretty soon. The water's warm because you're at the Caribbeans. Oh! Caribbean sounds nice. That's a fancy vacation. I've never been to the Caribbeans, but I always hear that that's, like, one of those, you know, really nice uh, vacation spots. So, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, oh, Crimson Acid says, Shit. This makes you a prime suspect. Spill it. I promise I didn't kill the council. I need you to know that. Get on with it. The Holy Seals are the Holy Grails of secret hunters. They're so locked down and under wraps. You're letting the snakes get to you. I was losing sleep each night thinking about them. I knew KHX designed the second seal, so I started talking to him. I also knew he was obsessed with me. Obsessed? What do you mean? More than I expected. I thought he was just horny for me. But he had got it into his head that if we achieved perfection on the next island, he'd ascend to heaven. Prime cannot hide. His diary called you his queen in the astral heaven. Good snooping, lady. Since I am blessed by the gods, he coveted me as a trophy queen. The guy was out of his mind. You keep using the past tense. I'm not stupid. If the council got on the bad side of a killer, and the person who designed part of their security is missing, he's either dead, or might as well be. Did you do it? Please. Even if he was going to squeal to Montserrat, I talked him down. I strung him along in a relationship. I could persuade him to do almost anything. Except give you the secret to the second holy seal. There was a data key he guarded. I took it and made a copy. How'd you copy it? You ask a lot of questions. Someone in Masahiro Heavy Industries owed me a favor. That favor was an hour in one of their high-end computer labs. It turned out to be a heavily encrypted digital key on a flash drive. I put the key back in his workshop, apologized profusely, and did something to take his mind off of it. Did you use the key? No. I know where and how, though. The obelisks on the beach. The key works on them. And that's the second seal secret? No. There's more, but I don't know that. Why didn't you use the key? Bad vibes, lady. I could feel it in the air. Things were happening on the island. Crime is repulsive. This still makes you a suspect, Crimson. I know. What about the tuft of hair? Mui says, it's only nice in the Caribbeans at the resorts, or beaches, or rivers, or forests, or Anywhere outside, where the sun and nature are. What point are you making? Yeah, what part? Because, sure, like, surely you've seen at least a beach. Even if you're not staying at a resort, maybe a forest or a river. You've seen some nature, right, Bowie? <clears throat> I found a tuft of your hair in KHX's workshop. And? That puts you at the scene of a disappearance. 
Come on, lady. You know that doesn't prove anything. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna pay for any of these motives right now. I'm a little low on blood crystals after buying that laptop upgrade. But we can talk about Henry's demonic possession. He says, it is nice everywhere here. The sun feels great. I bet it does. <laughs> like I said, weather here has been absolutely atrocious for the last couple days. Granted, I'm a little tired of the, the blazing heat here. I'm East Coast, so we get a lot of blazing heat. And then when the, when the winter hits, it's also going to be real cold. And it's already started getting real cold at night. So I don't really get to enjoy that nice, like, in-between anytime. We, we get a little bit of it in spring, like the start of spring, and we get a little bit of it in the fall, and then it's like, bounces between the blazing heat and the freezing cold. You're gonna go outside tomorrow, you're just afraid of bugs? I get that. One of, one of my weird, like, ticks is I don't like to eat outside, because I really don't want the chance of bugs ending up in my food. <laughs> so... I, I, I just don't like to eat out, outside, like, any, any patio food, any picnic food, I'm just not a big outside eater. I don't want them getting in my drink, I don't want them getting in my food, so I, I, I get that. But the outdoors can still be nice, just not for me to eat. So Crimson, what do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? Henry's possession worries me. Nothing has surfaced about it. It's either, it's either as they say, or someone is keeping a secret. How did he get the knowledge to communicate with the gods? The library in the HQ is full of forbidden grimoires. Oh, and I guess that's all she has to say. We didn't follow up on that by talking about the, the library we already looked into. So we'll leave the, the motives here and come back to it. Thanks, Crimson. May your journey be endless. And may you reach the moon. So that was a long conversation. Woo! Big titty goat. There was a save point around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Uh, yeah. And we haven't used this one, so it's a long fast travel. And what was the most recent save? 911, 914. Uh, I think this one. So we save here in slot two. Getting safe. There we go. Starlight skin the a new Starlight skin. All right, and this has been uh, two little little over two hours. I would stream more. Usually I like to hit at least like the, the three hour point. But like I said, I'm pretty hungry. You're going to think of a way to really enjoy the vacation instead of staying inside. I get that. I'd feel I'd like not not putting projecting onto you. I would feel uh, a little guilty, like staying inside my entire vacation, going somewhere like, you know, any really anywhere for vacation so it's it's good to go out and get some sun that is, is all i'm saying it's good to get out and get some sun you know you're on vacation you're somewhere completely new so enjoy it enjoy enjoy your vacation i am gonna call it here though because it's been a bit of a stream and i am hungry we're gonna probably drop some frames here for a second because I'm opening up Firefox. I'd like to see if there's anyone to raid out to. Granted, I only have few... <laughs> I know I've only got two viewers tonight, so not a not a big raid. I don't think anybody's really... Yeah, nobody nobody that I would raid out to is really uh, streaming right now, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a moot point. So we won't be raiding out. Ads? Yeah, I, I know... Ads are happening. I'll wait till you get back, and then we'll then we'll do a send off. Wait until Mui's out of the ads. It'll be about thirty seconds. But I really do enjoy this game. 
It is a lot of talking. I'm going to have to do a lot of talking, which means I'm going to have to drink a lot of water and take a lot of breaks. But it's well worth it. I'm already out of one bottle of water. I'm going to have to pop open another one. Mouth gets real dry, voicing all this dialogue. And it looks like, as should be over, so if you're coming back, as I was saying, I'm going to be popping out here. I do appreciate everybody who popped in for the per first uh, Paradise Killer stream. I think maybe Thursday, if Vol is not back for Bakaru, then I'll probably play some inscription just to, just to keep things like dispersed don't want to play the same game back to back probably play some inscription on thursday i don't think i'll be playing anything on wednesday i usually don't stream on wednesday especially in the evenings i know that uh, that's usually a, a martin thing is the wednesday evening streams so i like to space mine out around my friends but once again thank you for watching if you're not already following me on twitter and you want to see you know Things like my thumbnail art, uh, know when I'm, I'm streaming or when I'm guest starring in somebody else's stream. Uh, Twitter is TTV, And if you want to catch old VODs, if you're one of those people who likes to watch other people play video games, like Mui said, if you want to catch old VODs of games I've played, you can catch me on YouTube at DodonGoGo. So check that out. That's, that's the YouTube channel. Y'all have a good night. Make sure you get plenty of water. Make sure you also eat. And I'll catch you on Thursday, hopefully. Bye!